Prater in Vienna, Austria has unveiled their plans for their all-new Mock Rides Big Dipper coaster set to make its debut in fall of 2024. Now, this ride was actually announced a while ago, so we've known it was coming, but it was originally thought to be opening in 2023. Clearly, there were some delays. We actually hadn't heard anything about this in a while. I know some people thought it might be canceled entirely, but they just had a press conference unveiling the layout, showing off the first sections of track, doing a ceremonial groundbreaking. This project is in full swing, and it looks like a lot of fun. This is not going to be a huge ride. But will it be the best in the park? I think so. I mean, right now, it's only real competition, I think, is Olympia looping. And technically, that's not even a permanent installation here. The other really good coaster they got is Mega Blitz, which is a custom Vekoma MK700, which is soon to be Wiener Looping's next door neighbor. Yes, that is the name they've gone with, Wiener Looping, not Wiener Looping, you bunch of weirdos. It actually pays homage to the original Wiener Looping that operated back in 1982. It was a Schwarzkopf shuttle loop that is actually currently operational at Selva Magica as Bullet. Pretty cool, right? This will be the third Mock Rides Big Dipper coaster to make its debut after Lost Gravity at Walby Holland and Dynamite over in Germany. It is a completely custom layout built for this very specific plot of land. The lift will be passing over a pathway and on top of one of their ghost trains, and then back over the path where a bunch of buildings formerly were. We're only looking at a plot of land about 299 feet by 151 feet, so they are packing in as much as they can. So let's dive into this layout. What can we expect? First, when you board one of two trains, you have eight passengers per vehicle arranged in two rows of four across. Those outer edges are winged seats, so you're hanging out over the track. They are the exact same as Lost Gravity at Walby Holland if you've experienced that ride. You'll start with a 90 degree turn to the left and begin your ascent up a 45 degree lift hill. It peaks at 102 feet in the air, which is about 31 meters, and you have this nice slow 180 degree curve. And this first drop is going to be awesome. It's the steepest we've ever had on a Big Dipper, 92 degrees beyond vertical. This is a big deal for Vena Prada. They don't have anything like this at all. And again, this is all happening over top of one of their dark rides. It's called Geisterbahn. Wiener Prada has always made great use of space. So after that drop, we have a bunny hop. This is directly over the pathway. So you're going to see the coaster flying above your head. You'll dip into a small trench and then enter a banana roll. So this is your first set of inversions. I know that it's always up for debate. Is a banana roll one inversion or two? It's the first element that goes upside down. How about that? Which we then follow up with a vertical loop, but it's a very drawn out vertical loop. You're going to have three seconds of weightlessness. It also reminds me of the stall inversion that you have on Hyper. Hyperia. That should be a really good sensation. I like how different it's going to be from Olympia looping. Even though that's not here all the time, those vertical loops have a very distinct feeling. They're very circular and you kind of whip through them. Here, it's going to be slow moving and graceful. As you exit that element, you're going to rise up into a whip that will twist from the right to the left and you're going to keep rolling over into a dive loop. Plunging back towards the ground, that is your final inversion. So depending on how you count a banana roll, that could be inversion number three or four. We have a nice tight helix and then a twisted ejector hill. There's a very similar moment on Lost Gravity, so that should be a lot of fun. That's the last moment of airtime, which I've been told that Wiener Looping will have four distinct moments of air. So that should be great. And then you have a 180 degree turn into the brake run. So overall, we're looking at 1,699 feet of track or 518 meters, approximately 110 seconds of ride time. That is from departure until you hit the brake run and then an estimated hourly capacity of 525 people per hour. Now, one stat that has not been given to us is the price. If you've been a Wiener Prater, the way it works is each attraction is independently operated, so anyone can just walk in, but you have to pay per ride. You can't even get a wristband. There's no unlimited ride pass. So yes, you're going to have to pay to ride Wiener Looping every single time. And to be honest, it can get really expensive. If you're only doing like one ride or two, you know, it's not bad at all. But if you're spending the the day of Vina Prada. Oh man, prepare yourself. I believe Olympia Looping was going for like 12 bucks a ride. So I would imagine that this would be around the same price. I think the difference is that this is probably going to be something you're going to want to do multiple times. Olympia Looping has a good layout, but just those restraints make it so uncomfortable. This is lap bars only. It should be really smooth. I actually really enjoyed Lost Gravity. That's the only other Mock Rides Big Dipper that I've done. I think this is going to be a great fit at the park. It has a nice mix of forces, negatives, as well as some good positives. I think you're going to hit 4.2 Gs at one point. And I'm also excited to see what this thing's going to look like at night. Wiener Prater is a nighttime destination. They're open super late, and I've been 
been told that yes, this thing is gonna have LEDs. They're gonna wanna make this thing stand out because at the end of the day, this could become their new like signature attraction. Many of the attractions at Wiener Prater feel temporary, even if they're not. But this, by nature, will feel permanent. It's sure to be a huge crowd pleaser, but not one they'll necessarily draw in like huge lines. Because it's a paper ride system, I'm not too worried about capacity. I know some of the locals were worried about the noise that this thing would be causing. Sure, you can't do anything about the screams, but I do know that they're filling the track with sand. So this should be pretty silent going through the ride course. So overall, this is definitely something to look forward to. If you're planning a trip to Vienna, Austria, look out for Wiener Looping to make his debut this fall. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of this new attraction. And of course, stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios. I'll see you next time.